What is going on guys? I am Ethan, also known as Ludo, from the Ludo Cave, and today we are going to be playing the first portal game out of the series. Or a radio in the toilet. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from What the f Oh god, the, the portal robot's will open broken. In three, two, one. Okay, so that's us, I'm gonna guess. We're a girl. Shell, that's her name. Being watched. There's no one in the offices. Oh, it's a cube. Pretty straightforward, I guess. Just put this on the button there. Okay, there we sir. go. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For Sounds, instance, uh... the aperture science weighted storage cube. Sounds pretty good then. So we're on it's level one. <laughs> Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. <laughs> so here's the cube. Go, no, put this on the button. Perfect. Please move quickly. Oh, to no, the frick, now we're stuck. As the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Prolonged exposure. We're gonna die of radiation. No, I'm kidding. So, as you see, I'm gonna be doing all of the Portal series. So, that includes all of Portal 1, and then all of Portal 2, and then Nate will be doing all, I think, all, if not. Uh, he's starting at uh, Half-Life 2, but I think he's going to be doing Half-Life as well, but he's doing all the series, that means Episode 1, 2, so he's going to have a lot more to do than me here. Okay. You're doing Level very 2. Well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Thanks for the tip. Alright, so what are... What's our goal here? We gotta... We gotta get something for sure. Very oh. good. Oh, okay. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. I didn't know we had Either to grab it. You can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Oh shit! Please no, I... To the chamber I... I... I, I didn't mean... Here. Oh fuck. Um... Okay. Well then, remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. I am a female who just woke up in a detention center. I don't even know if I have a husband. I kind of forget, you know. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. 
You're doing quite well. I find that's kind of creepy how they just kind of look at you. What's this? Oh, they gave us a radio. Alright. No more tips from uh from her. GLaDOS. The Aperture Laboratories. Here we go. Test number five. We're going at a pretty easy pace, I'd say. It's not that complicated, it's kind of child's play if you ask me. As part of a required test protocol, our previous we have like a radio suggesting everywhere? that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. Like I I hope that's like on purpose that they're making those sounds because I wouldn't want to be in here with a deranged glitching robot. While okay. safety is one of many enrichment center goals, it's unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject hometown here. <laughs> Subject's hometown here. So I guess there's just no information about us. We're moving pretty fast. Here we are. Warning guess... devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, we gotta wait for this thing to come. There's no one around, that's weird. Maybe it's like purpose. All right, go. Oof. All right, the leap of faith. <sighs> Made it. Aperture science. We, I can't tell if we're going down or up. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good Thanks luck. Thanks for the tip. There we go. Classy jazz music to play every time. Just to keep us comfort. Grab it right now. Oh frick! No! Damn it. Okay.
Oh wow, the jumping is really glitchy. It's like <laughs> there's no smooth panning there. Let's try one more. Ah, uh, best we leave it then. <sighs> Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Good to know. Good to know. I thought I was, I thought I was gonna die. There's a little, there's a little barcode there. Aperture 04. Here we are. The test number nine. Regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Impossible, eh? Oh god, it may actually be impossible. Oh no. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Pessimism. Such fancy words this robot voice uses. I guess this Hello is again. still to reiterate momentum. What? Oh god, the machine's broken. Okay, alright. Whoa! Whoa! Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. There we go. Wait, hear the radio. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. I can't. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Okay. Whoa. That was like a whole spin motion we did. Isn't too hard. I, I was hoping for a challenge. What's this? All right. Number eleven. To always oh. provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the enrichment center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Thanks for the tip. There we go. What's that? Get over there. Ugh. Ah, oh, really? How is it? How is it supposed to get over then? There we go. Up timer. Let's go. Come on. And we need the next one. The next one. Ugh. 
Oh, nice. So that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call. Yeah. <sighs> She's basically saying my hometown is, uh, filthy poor. Great. Because this thing I'm holding is worth more than everything in my life. <sighs> Alright guys, we're going to end this uh, episode here, and we'll be back next episode. I'm Ethan, also known as Ludo from the Ludo Cave. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, all that fun little information you can find in the description box below. Thanks for tuning in.